instinctively, we start looking around, we hit him. It's too many microphones, it's like an operation. It's like I'm having an operation in it. So a baby naturally start looking who hit him. Because why the baby naturally know for something to occur or to come into existence must have a cause. It's a logical, rational argument. Yeah. Understand? That's why this argument, by the way, is been mentioned in the Quran. Allah said the meaning of the verse, were they created by nothing? Were they created by nothing? Or did they create themselves? Or did they create the heavens and the earth? Surely they have no firm belief. So let us explain the first verse. Would they create by nothing? Nothing is not even a thing, let alone to create something else. You with me? Yes. So therefore, this is the first option through out the window. Did we create ourselves? That is irrational because why? If we already exist, there's no point to create ourselves. And if we did not exist, we need something to bring us into existence. So we never create ourselves. Now look at the Quran, how he, how Allah rationalized that he's the, the creator of everything. Then the Quran goes on to say, oh, you create the heavens and the earth. If you never create the universe, if the universe was not created by nothing, you never create yourself, let alone you create the heavens and the earth. What is the last option? Someone must create his creation. It's a logical argument, a rational argument. A phone. You, you like this argument? Yes, it makes sense. That's why, you know, I always want to say, what distinguish Islam from any idea, philosophical, philosophical idea, religion, Islam goes in line with our universal knowledge. When you look, I'm not sure if you read the Quran. Have you read the Quran? Okay, I, I would highly recommend you to read it. What, what the Quran does, Quran rationalizes why Allah is the creator with a rational argument, a logical argument. Likewise, the Quran rationalizes with a logical argument why Prophet Muhammad must be the prophet of God. Likewise, the Quran rationalizes with a logical argument, tangible argument, why there is a day of judgment. Okay? But before we move on to that, firstly, phone. No, no more phone. If I said this phone was made by someone who is completely paralyzed, would you accept that? You wouldn't accept that. If it's completely paralyzed, would you accept someone who made a phone who is completely paralyzed? You wouldn't. So what he needs? Ability. Power, you need ability, okay. He had the ability, but he doesn't know how to make a phone. Would he be able to make a phone? If he doesn't know how to make a phone. Well, I mean, phones specifically are made by hundreds of people. Not all of them know how all the parts to make a phone. They just do their one job. Right? But all of them knew how to do the well, job. They know how to do their job. They that's my point. Yeah, that's my point. So okay. all of them had to possess prior knowledge. Like, you know, you don't go to the company of iPhone and they're going to say to you, listen, you know how to make a phone? No. Okay, don't worry. Bring a hammer and bring a saw and just do it for 10 years. Somehow we're going to have iPhone. Then I'm going to ask you your qualification. It's a rational way. Likewise, you need a will. If I have a knowledge and an ability, but I don't have a will, I need to make something. This is just on a smaller scale. What about our own creation? What about the heavens and the earth? That's what Allah said in the Quran. Within the creation of the heavens and the earth and the alteration of a day and night, it is a sign for people's understanding. We Pe don't understand. No, we're, so, we're so separate. No, no, we do understand. However, we are being... There is some people who try to manipulate us and try to cover us from the truth. Because, as we believe, without any doubt, there is a Satan there. You understand? But before we go to some Satan, there are some people for their own agenda, they want to misguide the people. They want to destroy the people. You understand? That's why Allah always said to us, utilize the tools that you have your observation, your logical argument, your rationality, to know that there is no one worthy of worship except the creator of the heavens and the earth. And this creation must have a creator. You don't know there's a heaven. No, before we go to heaven, when I say heaven, I'm talking about sky, sky, sky. There is sky. Okay, there is sky. Yeah, yeah. Do you don't know there's a heaven? No, we're going to come to that, if there's heaven. But we know there's sky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we know there's an earth. Yes, no, no, all the time, you know, all the time, because why, right, as I have stated here, we have to establish universal knowledge. Universal knowledge, you have it, I have it. However, sometimes people corrupt it. And if our universal knowledge has been corrupted, then we have no certainty about anything. And that's what Allah said in the Quran. When Moses spoke to Pharaoh, he said to him what? He said that the creator of everything is Allah. And if you don't have certainty about that, you have no certainty about anything else.
That's why when they ate... Maybe that's okay. Maybe I'm okay with being uncertain. So, okay. It, raping the baby is okay? No, that's not what I said. Are you certain? I'm saying I'm okay with the idea that there may not be a heaven. Or no, there may no, not I'm, be a hell. I'm okay with that. No, even about uh, morals. Well, are morals you, are different. Morals are how I was raised, just how you were raised differently to okay. me. Okay. No, so, uh, so, as long as we respect each other, we're okay. Yeah? So, are you saying morals, we hold it is okay because we've been raised upon that or because something which was born with us? Well, the way that he was probably raised is going to be different to the way that I was raised. But because we have like mutual respect, we don't need anything other than that. No, I'm to, talking about look to cover that. No, I'm like, talking about. We don't need a, as long as there's unity. We don't need to decide how much we believe that. I don't know. Like you're saying that we, that there is a logical explanation of how this all works. So they yeah. agree with you. There must be a little. But it doesn't. It doesn't matter if Christian over there is different to you. As long as you're no, no problem with that. No, no, you misunderstand me. There is no problem like you're an atheist or agnostic. I'm a Muslim. Coexistence, we have no problem with that. Rather, Islam teach me if I see a non-Muslim being oppressed, if I see a Muslim oppressing a Christian, I have to defend the Christian. That's what Islam teach me. What I'm talking about, how can we know objectively what is right, what is wrong? That's what I'm saying. That's why I asked the question about raping the baby. Why? Because if we're not sure, if we don't have no certainty, a person might say, look, to you it's wrong, but to me it's not. Like, where are you getting these morals from? Maybe your society is okay, but it's not objective. That's why one of the proofs God exists is the morals that we brought up with, that is born with us. Naturally, instinctively, we know that raping a baby is wrong. Regardless if I was born in Algeria or Britain or America. One brother, he he's standing there. Wait a second, yeah? Do you understand my point? So my point, that is another proof that in order for us to have an objective morals must come from the Creator. That's why when I said to you about the verse of Moses, he said, if you're not certain about this universe has a Creator and should be worshipped, you will have no certainty about anything else. And this is the outcome of true atheism, as Richard Dawkins said that, likewise Sam Harris, you know, they know that. Because many people do not understand the true meaning of atheism. But what I'm trying to say now, what I've said so far doesn't make sense about this creation must have a Creator. I can oh, sorry, oh, sorry. I can make it strength. I can make it stronger. How? By the prophets and the messengers. Prophet Muhammad claimed to be the messenger of the Most High, the Creator of everything. So the knowledge that he, the Creator, has given him, clearly you can see that knowledge cannot come from any human being or anyone else except the Creator of everything. For example, the prophecies, the miracles. Likewise. We're talking about the baby, the embroy, you know, even though I don't utilize it all the time as a proof that Prophet Muhammad is a true prophet because Aristotle knew about this stuff. However, there's many stuff he got it wrong, but the Quran got everything right about the embroy, about many things, you know. So also, for example, let me give you a prophecy that Prophet Muhammad mentioned. 1,400 years ago, Prophet Muhammad said, there is so type of people getting punished. He said one of them, you will make up a lie. You will make up what? A lie. In the morning. In the same morning, his lie will reach far east, far west. 1,400 years ago, there is no way, it's impossible for my lie to spread far east, far west in the same day that I made up the lie. Why? Because back in those days, in order for me to travel from London to Cardiff, it would take me three days, let alone for my lie. So when the Prophet Muhammad mentioned that, People thinking, what? My lie is going to spread far east, far west, same day. Now, make up a lie. Put it on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, everywhere around the world. How many that lived in the middle of the desert 1,400 years ago knew about something that we can observe? You don't, have to have, you don't have to be a Muslim to observe that. That's something which is observable to everyone. Who gave him that knowledge? The Most High. That's why he claimed. You understand? I'll give you another one. Prophet Muhammad said about, you know, interest, interest, usually, yeah? He said there will come a time when interest will become widespread. Even if you are not involved in it directly, will affect you. Now interest is so widespread. You know, when you go to Tesco, when you buy products, you, you are paying interest. When you go open a bank account, you, pay, you, pay, you, you are paying interest. How many that lived 1,400 years ago? knew about something that we can observe it right now. The 
the answer I give you, the answer is from the most high. And from his teaching, there is only one God. And this life is a test. This life is like a bridge. One day we have to die. How many people leave the house and they never come back? You know, sister, brother, there's many things that we, should, we, we don't know reflect upon. Due to our society, death. You know, have you been to Algeria or Morocco? Okay. Imagine you want to travel to Algeria or Morocco as a logical person, rational person. What do you do first? You check if it's a safe country. Correct? You check. Maybe it's not safe. So you check it. You check which currency they use. They use a pound, dollar. You're going to check it. Likewise, you're going to check what, what you check the time the plane is going to leave. So you do your homework. You're not going to get there to Morocco say, you know what? When I get there, I will come to know. No, you're going to do your homework beforehand. Likewise, you're going to die and we're going to live this life. So logic dictates we should study what we're here. The big questions. You know, we are in a time we are not asking the big questions. Why I'm here? Well, how I got here? Why do I have to die? All these questions has been answered in the revelation that Allah, the Most High, has given to Prophet Jesus, Moses, Abraham, Noah, Jacob, and more detailed in the teaching of Prophet Muhammad. What do you think what I said so far? Does it make sense? It's all logical. Huh? It's logical. Yes. yes. And that's, that's what Islam. It goes in line with our rationality. I don't believe God became uh, something like this, a rat or a baby. No. I believe if a person asks me who is Allah, Allah describes himself. Allah is the only one, the unique. He's the creator of everything. He was not born and does not give birth. He's self-sufficient. Everyone's in need of him. He's not in need of no one. That's the creator I worship. You know? And I believe, as a Muslim, we believe in Jesus. We believe in Moses. We believe in Abraham. However, I don't believe Jesus was God or Moses was God. Even Prophet Muhammad, we don't pray to Prophet Muhammad. We believe all of them came to teach us about our purpose in this life. Let me ask you this question before. I'm sorry for taking your time. Thank you. Sorry for taking your time. I apologize. The last one, yeah? Imagine I say, you know what? I really like you guys. I'm a billionaire. I'm going to give you two million pounds as a gift. What would you say to me at least? Why? No, no, at, if I said, you know, I'm a billionaire, I have too much money, I just want to give it away. I'm going to give you two million pounds. As a reasonable person, what would you say to me at least? Thank, Thank you. you. Would you remember me all the time? Yeah. Well, of course, two million pounds is a big, big money. Okay. Yeah. No, it's coming for you, don't worry. I'm going to give you two million pounds. I will give you two million pounds on the condition, give me your two eyes. Oh. I don't know if I... It's a little... A little deep. Uh, would you give me your eyes? No, I don't think no, no. Why? Because your eyes is more valuable than two million pounds. So why we are not grateful and thankful and remember the one that gave us eyes for free? That's what Allah said in the Quran. He said, if you try to count Allah's blessings on you, you will never be able to do so. You see, the eyes that the Creator has given us, it's not our mothers who gave us the eyes, it's not our fathers, because when we lose our sight, or oh, we become blind, our fathers and mothers cannot give us our eyes back. So we start to go outside. Who is the creator? So I don't have a leaflet here. If you are, uh, let me give you a gift. Yeah, I would love a gift. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's not what you promised. Oh, too many sorry. <laughs> so, so let me, uh, what is the other one I want to give? For you, the woman here. Oh, thank you. Yeah, for women. For you, not for nothing, brother. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. No, no, I'm joking, I'm joking. We have something for you, man. We have something for you. Thank you. Yeah, no, we have. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, take care very much, yeah? You look after yourself. Yeah, at the front. If you can help them, maybe get it. Thank you very much for talking to me. Take care.